A researcher uses a mass spectrometer in a carbon dating experiment. The incoming ions are a mixture of C12 plus and C14 plus, and they have speed of 1 times 10 to the power 5 meters per second. The strength of the magnetic field is 0.1 Tesla, and the mass of the electron is 9.11 times 10 to the power of negative 13, 31 kilograms. The mass of proton and the mass of neutrons are both 1.67 times 10 to the power of negative 27 kilograms. The researcher first positions the ion detector to determine the value of R for C12+, and then moves it to determine the value of R for C14+. How far must the detector move between detecting C12+, and C14+. So first of all, we need to find out the mass of C12+, and C14+. So... C12, it has six electrons, six protons, and it has six neutrons. But here we are dealing with six in C12 plus. It means that it lost one electron. So it is going to be six proton. six neutrons and five electrons on the other hand c14 plus it has six protons eight neutrons and five electrons mass of proton is 1.67 times 10 to the power of negative 27 Mass of neutron is the same as mass of proton. And mass of electron is 9.11 times 10 to the power of negative 31. That's going to give me 2.004 times 10 to the power of negative 26 kilograms. C14 plus is going to be 6 times 1.67 times 10 to the power of negative 27 plus 8 times 1.67 times 10 to the power of negative 27 plus 5 times 9.11 times 10 to the power of negative 31. That's going to give me 2.338 times 10 to the power of negative 26 kilograms. So that's going to be the mass of C12 plus and C14 plus. Now due to the relationship between magnetic force and Centrifugal force is going to be BVQ equals to MB squared divided by R. When we rearrange this one, we're going to have R equals to MV over QB. Now, if I do radius for C12 plus, that's going to be M, which is 2.004 times 10 to the power of negative 26 times the V velocity which is 1.0 times 10 to the power of 5, divided by Q, which is 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19, because it's plus 1, times B, which is magnetic field strength, it's given 0.1 Tesla. When you calculate it, that's going to give me 0.1252 meters. We can do exactly the same thing for R C14 plus. Mass is different, which is 2.338 times 10 to the power of negative 26 times 1.0 times 10 to the power of 5 divided by 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19 times 0.1. That's going to give me 0.1461 meters. Now the distance between these two is going to be the double the difference, double the difference in radiuses it's going to be 2 times 0.1461 minus 0.1252 when you calculate it that's going to be 0 0.04 meters or 4 centimeter 
So it means that the ion detector must move a distance equal to the difference in the diameters of a circular trajectory. So it must move a distance of 4 centimeters.